so I'm at the pickup part again, picking up an old three bumper that I saw. Hopefully it's still there and in good condition. I came for an old three bumper and I bought two seat covers. I think they only charged me for one. I don't know why. Sweet. And the plastic for the trunk cover for the Corolla. Mine's is all messed up, as you saw. I'll show you right now. I'm trying to get the car ready, so so I got the scanner right there. So mine's is all beat up. Compared to this one, sweet. I'm gonna install it right now, real quick, and probably throw this one away right here. Out with the old, and with the new. Or basically the used. <laughs> I go to Toyota now and pick up the motor mount because this car is shaking a lot when the AC's on. Not that much, but I did notice it has a solid mount, the one all the way in the back over here. So that might cause it, but still, my engine mount is shot when we did the timing chain cover. So might as well get a new one from Toyota. Those are the best. AutoZone sucks, so don't get those. Those are O'Reilly's. They don't line up perfectly, and the inserts are like the plastic is very weak you could move it with your hands so Toyota it is it's like 200 and something but it's well worth the money compared to like a hundred and something they're gonna buy it all right these are AutoZone so let's head out there right now real quick oh, it was like 200 and something bought a spare key it was like 20 something bucks but to program it it's like 140 and guess what i got lucky i found a key fob at the junkyard so i'm not sure if it works or it needs battery but it should work i just need to program it so here programming the key for the corolla since it has a transmitter for my wife 45 bucks not bad you didn't want to charge me 15 dollars for a cut and then 155 to programming so almost more than half off so there it is brand new key this is the old key right here with the fob i just gotta program the fob luckily i have somebody in toyota in houston that gave me the how to program it i'll post it up and i'll show you guys how to do it Sweet. So time to program this key. Or oh, not this key, this fob. The key's already programmed, the fob isn't. I bought a new battery. I'll let you guys know um, what battery it takes. I totally forgot. Or maybe it has it on the receipt. Uh, Walgreens. Bought it at Walgreens. Um, 2032 is the battery size for this fob. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to add it to your car um, basically it's a sequence of key on key off key take the key off open the door close the door I'll show it if I could on here if not I'll walk you guys through it let's see how many tries it takes me to do it um, I did it on a Celica once and it took me like three or four tries so let's see how it goes So this works for the Camrys, Corolla, Matrix, Solara, Scions, Celicas. Oh, it should be the same for the Celica since I already did it. Oh, a lot of them, usually around 2000 to like 05, usually. Uh, basically, let's read the instruction. The key is not in the ignition. Driver door is open. The others are closed. Driver door unlock, which what's that's what it is. Not necessarily for the echo. All right. Insert and remove key from the ignition twice within five seconds. You gotta do this pretty fast, so this is why you have to. Then it's close and open the driver door twice and within 40 seconds insert and remove key into the ignition cylinder close and open the driver's side 
twice within 40 seconds. Insert the key. Insert the key in the ignition and close the door so this time it stays on or it stays in there. Turn the ignition switch to on and back to lock at approximately one second intervals two times to rewrite mode. Once you get that rewrite mode, um, basically once it gets into that mode it will lock and unlock the the uh, doors to let you know it's already on rewriting mode and then within 40 seconds i gotta press both the unlock and lock button on the key fob uh within 40 seconds and then within three seconds Press and release the lock button. So let's give it a try. Door open. All right. So one, two. Close and open. That's one. To insert and remove, then close and open twice. Not insert key, close the door, ignition to on, then lock, then on. twice and I'll press both of them I think it got it <clears throat> basically I have to do it again so basically if it did it twice unlock and lock twice basically it didn't do it if it only did it once it basically got it so oh, I gotta do it all over again I guess but you kind of see the process already I guess this time I didn't do it right but I think the problem with it right now I think right now it's gonna be this one seems a little hard than normal I'm burning up in here let me turn on the car while I figure out I got it. I only did it once. got it oh so basically at the end you have to open the door and put the key in and as you saw it only did it once so it got the transmitter so now this is working i could put everything back together and call it a day my girl already telling me it's ready food is ready perfect just right on time i gotta put this back together. I might clean it up. 
can't believe I scored this at the junkyard. It was just there sitting on the driver on the driver's seat. But there was a bunch of junk. I guess that's why nobody picked it up. Or actually bothered to look. But yeah, that's it. It is a little broken. I'll show you right now. It's cracked right here in the middle. Looks like it's gonna crack right there. Um, both this size was cracking, so I couldn't put the ring. But luckily, what I do is since um, it's two pieces on this, you see it's two pieces. I took one piece, put it on this one, and put the one broken and one good one. So now. I have two keys, one for me, one for my girl, or just a spare key. So that will be it right now. Okay, one thing when you're doing this, um, I did it and the fob work, but then my old one wasn't working. So what you will have to do once you do that last step, when you do the hold this, both of, both of them and then lock it, then you have to repeat step eight all over again and do the same thing, hold both both fobs and then the lock button so that's how you do it